Hey guys, Scooby here. Today we're doing a different video. In this video, we're gonna do some randomized Pokemon we get from this generator and try and make it into a viable comp team. Okay, not viable, but 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 team. Okay, I forgot to take NFEs off because I need. <laughs> I can't exactly have that because I'm not gonna be able to do it with a seal. There we go. So we got Ho Oh, Magmortar, Raikou, Mighty Ener, Terrakion, and Luxray. All right, Mighty Ener is actually banned, so we're gonna have to re-roll this Pokemon. Alright then, let's just change this to one and generate it. Come on, Seraptor is also illegal. Okay then, oh, a Crobat. Okay, one thing to notice, this is a voiceovers and this is two times speed, so I'm gonna try and keep up with this gameplay. Alright, we are gonna start with Crobat, mainly for that taunt, because if they try and set up, they're gonna miss a turn. Really, Crobat's only use here is gonna be getting a Super Fang on their really bulky legendaries. I have to do Ubers because of Ho-Oh, so thank you, Ho-Oh. So starting with a Groudon, this could use either Rock Polish or Swords Dance, two really popular moves on Groudon. Luck and unluckily for me, it uses Eruption, so I'm just gonna Super Fang it. I'm not gonna survive this turn, but I may as well deal some damage. Okay, so Crobat now goes down, we're gonna set up Terrakion. It has a ground move, so I immediately regret this decision. Okay, it doesn't use a ground move, it uses a normal type move. I think we can set up another sword stance. The thing is, this is not a choice card like I thought it was, because it used eruption at the start. We now can pretty much just sweep the entire team. Holy crap, he just one shot a Kyogre. This thing is not very fair. If it takes down this Lugia, this is crazy. Oh my god. Okay, we did get taken down, but honestly, it's not too much of a problem. We can finish this battle off with Luxray's Crunch. <laughs> this Luxray has Guts and a Flame Warp, so we can facade its Rayquaza for, for a bit of damage. Hopefully, half health. Oh god, that did three quarters of its damage. That's very nice. We should be able to finish this off here. Let's hope the next games will be as lucky as this one. Okay, this team is very threatening. I mean, it has basically everything in the middle. We're gonna taunt the ground on once again. It tries this rock polish, but it doesn't. It's gonna get super fanged. We're just gonna switch out because it has for later. Whatever we will do, it a little bit of hello. We're not near enough. We're gonna use defog because my mind slipped, and for some reason, I thought defog would move the sun. I have to ignore that play. We're gonna toxic and knock off our heavy duty boots. It's fine. Our hello will die this turn. Okay, next up's gonna be Taraki. We're gonna try and set up this sweep. I don't know if we can do it against the thing. We are going to get that extra bit from his ability, obviously if Terrakion is hit by a dark move it raises his attack. And then it sucker punches to do it again, that's a very strange how he did it again, but Light Fork will finish on my Terrakion this cure him doesn't. We are going to close combat this cure a cure him. It outspeeds, it's a choice scarf cure him. We are going to send in our Raikou to try and calm mind. Does 50% damage. We should be able to hit it with a nice discharge. It switches though. Scald will not do enough in the sun. 64. But if you get the burn, it's gonna rock polish to increase its speed. It's gonna absolutely send this. Again, my mind farts and I switched to an electric type against a ground type. Really, I should. <laughs> I could probably use Crobat sooner. Stone Age does a lot of damage. Brave Bird does more. It's not gonna die to the burn on 1 HP. Now, unless this Magmortar is God himself, I do not see anything we can do here. GG.